So right now that might be uh, the old practice of way to do it, but how could you do that in regenerative where it's healthy? I'm so, and still produce a cash crop. So this is a good point because there's uh regenerative agriculture still allows the use of chemicals. So there are a lot of regenerative farmers that use chemical in order to terminate their cover crops in order to put in a cash crop. No till. So we're still using uh, soil health protocols and things, um, just still using the chemical. And I, some of them uh, think about that and some of them are very cognizant of that they're still using chemical. Um, that's where the difference between organic and regenerative come in or both. Um, Interesting. You so just, you have to you have to be excited about experimenting and understanding different avenues of management and uh, making money on different types of crops on and economics. But it sounds to me like so the value is based on you said the clean, cleanliness of the crop. So for example, if somebody wants to buy feed and the feed is a based on a a relative feed value, it's a Timothy. Right. So Timothy grass might pull a certain price, but then you, you, or an alfalfa, but then you get these mixed grasses. Mm -hmm. And so that all changes price because you're not getting pure alfalfa. You're not getting pure Timothy. You're getting a mixed grass. Mm -hmm. So the price comes down. And so in regenerative, if we didn't terminate, part of it might just be the bicycle. So people are buying and they want a pure price. And so in our minds, we terminate. Uh, Get that pure price? I'll give you a different example. I was thinking more like the the grain side of things where you need the wheat, the corn, and the the sorghum seed or the soybean seed to come out. And the grain. You, the grain. Okay, the grain not feed. needs to be clean. That's different than feed. Okay. Yep. That, that's my understanding of the field anyway. Interesting. Okay. Um, so, so. Yeah, maybe you'll get a lower price for Timothy and alfalfa, but like you said, I think the right buyer would would see the the benefit to having a less alfalfa, lesser protein for a cow that's not necessarily ready for pure alfalfa. Interesting. Well, yeah, uh, I, I compare with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is where we go deep on the conversation to try and, uh, you know, get the most value i think out of it so that we can take this back to you know mm -hmm. more people more lands so how do you change the narrative to almost put a put a certification on there to say yeah this isn't a uh, certified just alfalfa this isn't certified just sorghum this is certified 